For those of you that bought the Playbox version of the Pine 64 from the Kickstarter campaign, this is what it looks like assembled. This is the $89 version with the $10 memory upgrade for a total of $99, as opposed to the basic board that is only $15. I will show you what additional components uh, came with this package. On the side, you have a power button or reset button. Um, I have determined that on my board, the power button does not work in the power button slot right here. So I moved it to the reset and it works just fine. So I will solder that in at a later date. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth component right here. Uh, that very simply snapped on. It was it just push it straight down. It took about eight seconds to install it. This is the 64 gigabyte operating system on a micro SD. Um, I found out through trial and error that the operating system that came with this board does not run the LCD panel. You have to download a new operating system. So as not to destroy this one and only card I had, I bought an additional SD card, another 64 gigabyte card. And I downloaded the operating system that runs this panel. And the panel came up just fine. In my previous videos, I had been running the card off my HDMI monitor. And that worked exceptionally well. I was very pleased with that. This version that I have here will boot this panel. And if I plug the uh, HDMI monitor in later, it will actually run the monitor. But if I leave it plugged in, it will not boot the panel. It will not boot at all. So this is just strictly for the LCD monitor. Now to hook up the LCD monitor, there is um, a, a small cable on the back. You connect it to this connector. This ribbon cable, you just simply unlatch this latch, slide this ribbon cable into here, both ends. Uh, you clip it down and then you run it over to this expansion port right here open that clip push the cable in and clip it down sounds easy took me about five tries uh, you have to line up these pins exact on the back of this panel there is another small ribbon cable it connects to the other side of the panel and that is for the touch screen I'll do a couple of close up photos so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm still powering on uh, this with a uh, surge block. So I just hit the power switch. You'll see the red light comes on. The Android logo will come up. Now I have two USB ports here. I was running this with a keyboard and mouse. Uh, it works just fine. But the touch screen works uh, equally as well. Now it seemed to me that the touch screen was actually working faster than when I had it in the HDMI monitor. But when I plugged the monitor in, uh, it ran just as fast. So I'm thinking that maybe this version might be a little faster than the original one that came with it. And that's to be expected, as this is a brand new um, unit. And this is its uh, first, first go, so uh, there's always some kinks to work out. And I expected that fully. All right, as in my previous video, I put on the animated background, pretty cool. I downloaded uh, YouTube and Pandora. Uh, they work just fine. Now this um, panel does not come with any sound, so I have a Bluetooth speaker which I was using and that works just fine. unit comes with Google Play, that's where you get your applications from. 
It has a video player. I don't currently have any videos. Setup is very straightforward. Uh, the Wi-Fi worked uh, very easily. I just touched Wi-Fi, put in my password, and I was on. Very simple. Bluetooth the same way. Uh, you also have different uh, data usages, display, storage, sounds and notification, apps, and you can have different users on this. Uh, so the setup is uh, pretty well loaded. This is the set of applications that come with the unit. I added YouTube and Pandora. The rest uh, came loaded with this uh, particular operating system. This is your file system, so you can see what is on your 64 gig um, SD memory card, which is the entire um, drive for this unit. We have Google, which um, I did not set up yet. I've loaded several uh, operating systems to this unit, uh, including Ubuntu, and they all have worked uh, splendidly, but I would say that the Ubuntu was um, not nearly as fast as the Android, and since I do not have any experience at all with Android, that is the system I'm going to go with. And the final is the camera. Now there is a slot on the other side, on the other uh, side of this board, for a camera. Um, I did not uh, buy the camera. I don't need the camera. Now, uh, this particular unit is called the play box because it's supposed to be in a box. Um, that box is still in uh, uh, back order. I will show you what it will look like. Okay, you may be wondering if it was worth the $99 to buy a uh, tablet that's in pieces um, without a battery. Uh, for me it was because this is something fun for me to play with. Um, I expect to be able to load my own applications to it. I have USB ports for that. Um, I have an Android app writer on my uh, Windows PC, which I am quite excited to try to do my own apps. Um, other than that, uh, if I did not need the Wi-Fi and um, I had it on my Ethernet port, if I had an HDMI monitor with sound, uh, this would have been an amazing $15 computer. Um, since most of us have a keyboard and mouse laying around from uh, previous computers in our lives, and an HDMI monitor is not all that much, you know, um, yes, you can actually have a $15 computer that is quite functional. And uh, I had a USB uh, hub on this, so I had my mouse and keyboard. I have two slots on this particular unit, and I added um, a hub with four, giving me a total of uh, five slots. So I had a USB um, uh, stick in here. I had a USB hard drive, which was working fine. Um, I was pulling up photos and such, so it is a really nifty um, little computer. And I have enjoyed assembling this, although those cables were a bit tricky. Um, hopefully my play box, the plastic case uh, that will surround this, will come soon. I did have uh, visions of making my own uh, wooden case, and I may do that in the future, just because I have a wood shop in my garage. Um, but that is about it. Uh, I will uh, show you the screens on how I got the uh, operating system. So I will have to relocate uh, to my computer to show you that. Okay, to get the operating system, just Google Pine 64 Wiki.
on the first page, scroll down a bit, and you will see how to create uh, your card. Uh, you download uh, one of the images, and I'll show you where those are in a minute. Um, with that, you get 7-zip. Um, download that, and that'll unzip the file that you receive. And then download Win32 Disk Imager. I'm working on a Windows PC, by the way. Uh, with those two programs and the operating system that you download, uh, you should be able to create your own um, boot disk. Now, I'm using just um, a USB uh, to SD card. Um, you slip the micro SD right in there and pop that in your computer. And then I go to uh, software image download. Right up here, software image download. And there are plenty of operating systems to choose from. But farther down on this list, you will find the ones for the LCD panel. Now, I did a Ubuntu load and I did a format on an Ubuntu. So when I downloaded the 64 gigabyte image to go on my 64 gigabyte card, it would not load. There does not seem to be 64 gig left. I did a, um, a disk part, uh, got rid of the old partitions and still uh, my SD card is either defective or uh, there's something wrong, but I'm only getting like 56 gig on my 64 gig card, which are, is not working. So um, I had to back down to the 32 gig SD card image, and that is what is currently running on my LCD panel. So you just download this image, you use 7 zip to unzip it, you use the um, other program to sorry you use the win32 disk manager to move it to your SD card you put the SD card into the pine 64 and that is it so hopefully with those instructions you'll be able to get your own LCD panel to work and that is it